as we're coming down and the defense isn't set, okay, here are our rules. Our rules are we're going to get the corners filled. So right where the, those two guys are right there in the corners, deep in the corners, and it's first come, first serve, okay? Because if we are in a fast break situation, okay, and let's say you, you two are back, okay, and we're in a three-on-two situation and we're bringing it down, okay, obviously we'll recognize that and these guys will be running the wings and we'll be three-on-two or might even be three-on-three, three, okay? But if, they can't, if we can't pitch it ahead to them for a layup, okay, and we don't have numbers, so let's say there's four defensive players back right now and we're trailing, they know to get to the corners. Now the next, next guy down, okay, it might be you, let's say you're sprinting the floor, if, if the corners are filled, you're getting to the rim. He is getting to the rim. We want to flatten the defense out. And then the offensive, you know, whoever's got the ball, can bring it in here and we want to attack and we tell you when you get to the rim obviously if we can throw it to you we'll do that we'd love that to be one of our big guys if it's not it might be a point guard that's okay and if if i come down here off the dribble and and you're not open and i get in here you're always going to get opposite the ball okay right in that dunker spot butt to the base right there good and that opens up the lane for me because we want to attack the basket in our spread offense we want to spread the floor get us away. If I would cross my guy over and come here, good, you just search right there, get in that dunker spot. If I can create help, I got there, I got you for three in that corner, you'd come out, and the last guy down would be trailing. Okay, so that's our spread offense. That's what we do when we get five on five, so our guys know that. We get to the corners, we get to the rim, and we're either gonna run a drag dribble, um, or we're gonna swing the ball from one side to the other, which I'm gonna get to, get to next. Okay, so whatever it is that you run, you may not run spread, okay? You may have a secondary break, or you may go right into whatever your half-court offense is. However you transition from defense to offense is up to you. And again, if you don't want to play fast, uh, you don't have to run this drill. But I think it's a great um, drill in terms of game-like situations, and it gets you guys playing uh, in that. Okay, any questions on that drill? That's three on two, uh, continuous fast break. Yes? You said uh, zero, one, or two passes. If you have an advantage. So in continuous fast break, before the five on five part, are you enforcing that? Strategy? I'm not necessarily enforcing it. Okay. I just, I just, you know, because if we make two passes and we don't have a good shot, you know, again, shot selection, you know, one of the things, and I know Coach Knight uh, spoke here on Friday, but one of the things that I remember from that clinic 24 years ago, like it's today, is shot selection is the coach's responsibility. If your team is taking bad shots, there's one person to look at, and that's the coach. One person, one person only. So they know what a good shot is, what a bad shot is. We define that, okay, again, what, what a good shot or a bad shot is for coach might be something different than than you, right? You might think it was a good shot, I think it was a bad shot. We gotta have those discussions so our players understand what a good shot is and what a bad shot is.